Innocence Amidst Adversity, Stories of Syrian Children Part 1, A Ray of Hope in the Rubble In the war-torn city of Aleppo, a group of children found solace amidst the ruins of what was once their vibrant neighborhood. Among them was Yasmin, a ten-year-old girl with a heart full of dreams. Despite the destruction that surrounded her, Yasmin had managed to create a makeshift classroom where she and her friends could continue learning. One day, while exploring a half-collapsed building, Yasmin stumbled upon a collection of books buried under the debris. With unwavering determination, she began organizing a secret library for the children. Soon, kids from all corners of the city flocked to Yasmin's sanctuary, where stories of faraway lands provided an escape from the harsh reality they faced daily. Part 2 – The Soccer Game That United a Divided Neighborhood In the war-ravaged town of Homs, two rival neighborhoods had been torn apart by conflict. But in the heart of this strife, two friends emerged, Amir and Samir. Amir's family lived on one side, and Samir's on the other. Despite their backgrounds, the boys shared an unbreakable bond. One day, inspired by their shared love for soccer, Amir and Samir organized a friendly match between the two neighborhoods. Word spread quickly, and soon enough, children from both sides were assembling with their worn-out soccer balls. The game became a symbol of unity, reminding everyone that beneath the surface, they were all just children who wanted to play and laugh together. Part 3 – A Symphony of Resilience in a refugee camp on the border of Syria, a young boy named Ahmed discovered an abandoned violin amidst the chaos. With the haunting melody of his homeland still echoing in his heart, he taught himself to play. The sound of his violin resonated through the camp, soothing hearts burdened by loss. Word of Ahmed's music reached the ears of an aid worker who had connections to a local orchestra. Determined to help Ahmed's talent flourish, she arranged for him to receive proper training. With every note he played, Ahmed breathed life back into his shattered world, and his music became a symbol of the unyielding spirit of Syrian children. Part 4 – Reuniting Lost Souls Amira, a young girl from Damascus, had been separated from her family while fleeing the conflict. Alone and frightened, she found herself in a refugee camp in a foreign country. Despite the hardships, Amira's eyes still held a glimmer of hope. Unbeknownst to her, her family had survived and was searching for her tirelessly. Through the efforts of humanitarian organizations and a stroke of luck, they were finally reunited after years of separation. The moment they embraced, tears of joy flowed, and Amira's smile radiated the pure joy of being with her loved ones once again. Conclusion The stories of Syrian children amidst the turmoil of war are tales of courage, resilience, and the enduring power of hope. Despite the adversities they face, these children continue to inspire with their creativity, determination, and unwavering spirit. Their stories serve as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the innocence of childhood can shine through, providing a ray of light and a promise of a better future.